So here I have a MadMapper project with a couple of queues all stored with different things. And now I can organize the look of my queues so I can keep better track of what each queue has stored. And first off, since I don't have so many queues, I can change the size of the scenes and queues grid so it fits better with the number of queues I have. And now I can rename these queues by double clicking the text box in the middle. And in this one and in the one next to it, I know that I have two media stored. So I'll just name the media one and media two. And down here I've stored three queues with red, green and blue colors stored in them. So I can enter the queues option through this cogwheel. And here I can simply choose red for this one. And then I can choose green for the next one and then blue in this one. And in this queue, I have a video file, and I happen to have a screenshot from that video. So I can just go in here and add any picture from my computer as a thumbnail for this queue. And I can also add a comment to my queues through here. Like for example, this video is about 9 seconds, so I'll just put 9 sec video as my comment. And if I want some queues to switch places, I can simply drag one queue on top of another and drop it, and so those two will switch places. And lastly, if I right click in any queue, I can access some additional layout options. Here, I can add or delete rows and columns. And when I'm adding rows or columns, I have the option to add it before or after the point where I right clicked. So let's just try to insert a column after this point. And as you can see, that pushes the column that was next to it another step and creates a column in between. 